What's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge and this is the second video on how to create user login in PHP. So in the previous tutorial we have started our login.php layout. So we have here the, the form. So in this tutorial we'll continue working on with this login form and we will be adding uh, different inputs. So input for our username and input for our password. So let's go ahead and open up our uh, login.php code. So let's pick up where we left off. So this is where we ended last time. We added our own logo for our sign-in form. And let's go ahead and add another div for this with a class dflex. And let's add another class which is justify content center we'll be adding another one which is form container and we will add also styles for this form container later on okay so inside this div let's define our form and of course inside this form let's define all the inputs so first let's create a div with input group append and with this span class of input uh, group text inside this we'll be adding an icon which we will be using font awesome so i and then with class fas and then fa user and Right after this div, let's add our input with the type uh, text. In, uh, name will be username, and the ID will be, of course, username. And also add class to this, which is form control, and then input user. And this will be a required field and before we forget let's group this one into another div so div input input group okay and close this div here add class to this which is mb3 this is mainly uh, related to bootstrap this mb3 this is for the spacing of our division or div okay so we'll just copy the uh, this input group for our password also so input group this will be for the password of our user so the name will be password the ID password and also instead of input user it should be input pass and let's just change this into two and let's add another form group so do with the class form group okay and then another div this will hold the remember me button if you're uh, familiar with that custom checkbox okay one sec custom checkbox yes so inside here let's type in the input type which is the checkbox of course and for the name it will be or let's not add a name to this but we could anyway let's just add the name so remember me and the class will be 
custom control input and with the id custom control uh, custom control in line and let's just add label so with the class custom control uh, label and inside here let's just type in remember and of course this will be for our uh, custom uh, con custom control in line which is this input checkbox so let's now add the button for our sign in so after this div which is with the class form container let's add another one which is with the class uh, deflex and let's add another class for this justify content contain uh, content center and mt-3 and let's just add class or custom class for this login container and let's add another element which is the button itself so with the type button and with the name the name will be button and id is login let's add class to this which is btn and then custom class login btn and the value or the displayed text will be login okay so the next step is to add the sign up uh, button also or link you can this is optional but for now let's just add this to our form md-4 md-4 yes dash four and inside this div let's define another div with class deflex justify content center and another custom custom class which is links and inside this div let's just say don't have an account so uh, class m02 and the text would be sign up so as i said this is only optional if you want to implement this sign up you could uh, put in the link say for example the link will be for example registration that page so you could put the link here and another div for uh, forget password the text and justify content center inside this div let's just define a link to uh, reset the password so forgot your password something like that so now that we have added all the elements to our form let's try to uh, preview our page and and see if it looks good in our browser so uh, save our file login that PHP and go back to our browser navigate to localhost and of course user login and the page that we're concerned with is the login.php so we have here the newly added uh, elements we have the input remember me uh, option and we have the links for sign up and forget password so as we can see they're not 
uh, set yet or they're not looking good yet so we need to customize the CSS for our uh, elements so let's go back to our file okay so one thing that I noticed earlier is the they have the same icon which is the user font awesome user so instead of user for our password let's just type in the key so let's try that save our file and go back to our browser and refresh so instead of the user icon this will be the newly uh, added icon which is the key that signifies our password okay so let's just change this into type password instead of text let's say password okay now let's go to our styles.css we have defined different or few classes here that we need to target in our CSS to make sure that our login form looks good again you can pause the video and try to copy all the CSS styles that we're going to define here so number one will be the for container with margin top 100 px or 100 pixels the login ptm will be with 100% background will be c0 392b and tag this as important color will be white and this will be important so another one will be login bdn focus box shadow will be none and tag this as important as well and the outline will be 0px and important as well the login container we have body 0 to rem and input input group text so background is uh, z c zero three nine to b important color will be white and border will be zero and this will be important as well border radius 0.25 rem 000.25 rem and this will be important as well and then input user input pass this is for our input in our login form for username and password so focus so back shadow will be none and this will be important as well and outline will be zero yes and the last one will be custom checkbox with custom input or control input input and check then custom control then label before this will be background color background color will be also the C 0392b like this as important as well so save our style that CSS and go back to your browser and refresh the page so as you can see we now have a nice looking login form 
Okay, so in the next video, we'll continue working on with this login and we will implement the actual login logic for this login form. We will also try to troubleshoot this so the login form or the login button should align with the other inputs at the top, username and the password. Thanks!